My name is Xavier, and welcome back to Surviving Mars. This time, I'm going to be doing a, a Church of the Eternal Flaming Llama run. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not what it's called exactly. There we go, Church of the New Ark. That's what it's called. I think the Eternal Flaming Llama is a lot uh, more descript, if you ask me. Probably should get that renamed. Uh, but let's see. The difference between this and my Russia run from last time is that I'm starting with one rocket versus two. I am starting with 4 billion versus 5 billion uh, in funding. I have zero daily research versus Russia's free 200. I've got 20, they're gonna, well, when we return resources or sell them, they're going to be worth 20 million versus 22 million. However, finally, we get a bonus of 20 applicants instead of 100, or 120 versus 100. So if you ask me, Russia looks a hell of a lot easier than the Church of the Eternal Flaming Llama, but... The difficulty, according to the screen in the top here, actually says Russia is more difficult. I doubt that, but uh, what we do have here is all colonists have the religious trait and birth rate is doubled. But hydroponic farms performance is reduced by 50%. So I'm going to have to basically make uh, something other than those, which is good because I don't really like them, to be honest, anyway. Uh, so for commander profile, I've decided to go on doctor. Minimum comfort required for birth lowered by 15 and stem reconstruction, colonist lifespan is increased. So basically, I've got a handful of colonists who are super important. They need to live a long time and have lots of kids and repopulate the, or populate the entire planet because I'm only going to be able to call one single rocket here. So we're going to shut off hunger, or rather shut off the ability to import food. We're going to uh, turn on inflation, so prices increase. Rockets are going to be three times slower. Here we go for the one single passenger rocket I was talking about. Everyone's going to be an amateur, no specialist. We don't need none of that. Colonists periodically become renegades. All right, that sounds good. I will leave chaos theory off this time because last time I had it on and I figured why not? You know, let's be truly chaotic and leave it off this time, especially because I don't even know what the regular tech tree is. I haven't gone through it uh, at all. So, and let's turn on all the difficulty things. Looks good. We're up to 680%. Now that, if you ask me, is nowhere enough. I don't know why any religious folk would name their rocket Michael number one. I think what they would really call it is Job Corinthians uh, 17. That sounds like something religious folk would call their rocket for sure. Uh, looks good. Let's drop this probe off. I don't really care about probes. I'm thinking also I want to drop off a drone. I want to get one more machine apart because I go through them like water in the early game. Now, this is a very, very tight, narrow playthrough. I've already tried to do it several times and failed horrifically. Oh, I forgot to change my logo. Can I still do that? Uh, yes, Mars Express. I want to put the one on with, like, the, the skeletons inside the mask. That when the lights go out, they eat you or whatever it is. There we go. That's the one. Fantastic. And then hopefully we still have the same. Yeah, 680. And this is renamed. Oh, nice. I, the game actually thought to save all your settings. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, I've already failed this attempt many times now. And I think I've got a good handle on what to do to survive, but it is narrow and it is tight, like super difficult. You've you got one rocket that takes super long to go back and forth. The first one goes and gets resources. The second one brings your one and only load of passengers. And then the third one goes and gets more resources. But there's a huge gap in time between that. And if everyone dies, boom, game over. And there's no more additional people, so... It's going to be a challenge, one that I'm looking forward to doing, however. Uh, ooh, 740%. That's not too bad. I wanted to do 800%, but I've been failing them uh, pretty consistently. This one's relatively flat. Uh, 8 north, 92 west. Let me look for something a little bit... Ooh, ooh, what was that? It's 825. Acreus Mons? Oh, Ascreus Mons. Uh, I'm not sure I like that because the concrete's super low, metals... I don't want to do anything that's, like, super low, necessarily. And it's steep topography, which might be okay. But let me look for something a little bit... Uh, oh, what was that one? Just saw, like, another eight. Oh, 810 right there. We got steep colony site with tons of water, tons of concrete, and okay metals. That's what I like. 810%. Good enough. Fire. Welcome to Mars. Welcome. Let's pause it up here really quick. Sector scan. Okay. So we get some ice down here, ice down there. Nice little cubby up here in the air to put some uh, wind generators if I really wanted to do that for some reason. 
And it looks like where we are is up here. We got 50 surface metals. We got 1,500 concrete and 683 average underground metals. How's this concrete? 1530 average. Well, okay. Average all around. Looks to me like what I want to scan is going to immediately be right here, then right here, then here, and then here. And then this is kind of upstairs, so I don't think it matters as much because I don't think... Oh, no, we can go up there. Interesting. Okay. That's a cool little place. Maybe we'll build a dome up there or something. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll do that and that and this, and then I'll do that and that. Okay. We got all those things set up. Let's go take a look at our tech tree before I do anything else. So right out of the gate, we've got Moxie upgrades. Don't need that anytime soon. Um... Rockets and shells require less fuel. Now, that's actually pretty good to start out with. Ooh, generate 100 per soul for each RC Explorer. That's super important because we can't uh, generate any research on our own. Now, granted, we don't have an Explorer, but we're going to get one on the first rocket. Wind turbine increases productivity. That's okay. <gasps> this is what I want. One-time grant of a million funding. Here's the thing, though. I can get that maybe on my second one. Let me think about the outsource for a second. So... For spending 10, so this is exactly equal. It's just you get more research faster. So what I'm going to do is outsource 1,000 science for 200 million. 2 billion is too much because it leaves me with almost, even if I were to research this, it would only leave me with 1.1 1. Like 1 billion or something like that, which is not enough to get a whole second rocket going. So we're going to have to do just a couple of quick things to get some basic science on our own. I think the first thing I should do, though, is this. Because we can research that in five days. We'll have our rockets taking off with less fuel even sooner than we would otherwise have it going. Then I'm probably going to want to do money. Because what, by the time the rocket lands back at Earth, we'll have researched that and have the money to spend to bring us our, ourselves resources back. And then lastly, the resource we bring back is going to be the RC Explorer. So we'll queue that boy up there. And then lastly, just in case I forget, we'll queue up everything else too. Looks fantastic. And I did indeed do the outsourcing. So we're gaining 200 science per turn. Oh, this is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to this. Now, where do I want to make the base is the question. So I know I've got the concrete and the metals here. I don't know where anything else is. So it's kind of, I guess, right in the middle. You know what I should do? Why don't I land the rocket sort of here, assuming that that's all going to be like an industrial place. And then I may, I'm most likely going to build a, a dome. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So... From the perspective of where is it most likely to find a lot of resources, I think right here, if I were to put a dome like in that little square of this giant square, like right there, we can then potentially find resources here, 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 and then here, 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 and then here, here, here. So I think in theory, the best plan is to plan for a dome right here. However, it could also be here is another similar thing where once I research these things or uh, scan these things, there might be some stuff there and we want to put a dome over there. Either way, I want to plan on it being here or there. And as such, I want to land the rocket a little further away from it. Let's say right here. And then let's quickly get things set up. Now, one thing I've learned through failure is that... Uh, let's get a Universal Depot, let's say, right there for now. One thing I've learned is fuel explosions. <laughs> yeah, I learned that the hard way. I got like an hour into recording an episode, and then I had a random storm come by, blow up my fuel, destroy all my components, and I had no more money, and I had no more rocket. And game over. <laughs> like, that was so lame. So what I've learned to do is shut off a fuel in that highly specialized thing, and let's turn on the fuel depots, uh, let's say up over there, a specialized just for them. And then we're probably going to want a dumping site. I guess we'll stick this. We'll just ram it in uh, up over in this little area someplace. Looks good. Build up as many of those guys as we possibly can. Uh, for all of our various things we're going to be putting in down here. Fantastic. Uh, up over in this direction, I probably want a concrete extractor. And I'm probably going to want it here, I suppose. Looks good to me. And then lastly... We're going to need our electrical stuff. Most notably, though, we're going to need a sensor tower, though. So where do I want to put the electric? Well, probably right along this wall here is going to be sufficient. So why don't I stick the scanner right in there with it? And then we'll throw in a whole bunch of large solar panels. Probably, yeah, not right next to it per se, but something like this, 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 this. And we'll rotate those guys up and we'll do another few uh, as such. Fantastic. And then some power cables to run right down the list there. Right over to my little tower. And that's looking pretty good. I think I have the basic set up here. I'm going to need, of course, a battery. So I think we'll stick one like this. 
And what else am I looking for here? Pretty much nothing. I think that's it. I think we're good to unpause and begin the long road ahead. Now, I should note that I got a mod. One single mod to increase the speed. So it goes one times, five times, ten times, instead of one times, three times. Oh, no. One times, two times, three times. One, five, ten is so much better. It's so much better. I absolutely love it. Uh, so you guys come down here, land it up. Great. Unload. Ooh, that's immediately... Good thing. I was going to forget about this, too. But let's immediately start gathering. Is this the resource? Yes. Let's grab that and unload them right there. Fantastic. Is that all we have in this zone? If I zoom out really quick, looks like we've got 50. And that's all 50. So the answer is yes. Uh, lastly, we're going to need to start deploying our prefabs almost instantaneously here. I think a fuel refinery in this location is a great place for it. We don't have to transfer it, transport it very far. Question is, where do I want to put it exactly? I'm going to say right there. Uh, let's do the same thing over here for the water. Oh, that's not the right one. That was uh, moisture evaporator. There we go. Get this guy rotated around. Get him stuck right in there. Beautiful. Let's get some pipes connecting these doohickeys up. We'll go from, let's say... I think we could do something like this. And that's it. Will that work? I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Uh, and let's go for electricity to get this stuff done. Which we can do something like... I don't know how I want to do it exactly. I guess I can do that. A little bit awkward, but it works. And there we go. That should be everything except for the drone prefab, which I don't want to place yet until I do a little bit of scanning first. Which we're working on uh, probably any second now. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Because the, the start the start is very, very, very critical. I don't think I'm forgetting anything, though. Water, oxygen, we're going to wait on that. We're not building those farms. Fuel refinery, no, this is all good. We got the concrete extractor. We got a place to put it. I could probably use some concrete uh, locations to store it, though. So why don't we put in a depot for uh, concrete? And you know what? I don't mind putting that. Well, I guess I should put a little bit further away from the fuel. We'll put it here, here, and here. I'll get three of those guys going. And then otherwise, I don't think I really need too much. Maybe like a metals depot we can store uh, up over here by the universal one or in that general vicinity. And that looks good. All right. There we go. Got to make sure these guys get things done. Let's make sure we get the higher priority on the sensor tower and then also these towers and then also this battery because those things are more important than anything else because nothing's going to work without those. So, in fact, I may want to just grab all the... Oh, you can't do... You can't shift-click buildings, huh? Huh. All right. Well, there we go. We single-clicked every single one of them. And... Our rover has apparently already captured all the... The minerals in this entire zone. Yep. So we've got nothing, but we got 54% scanning over here. So hopefully we can bump that up a lot faster. Nice. There we go. First powder scanner is working. Thank the heavens, because that was going to take forever. 323% scanning bonus. Very good. Okay, let's do um, let's do some Red Frontier time, eh? Much more lively. Okay, right out of the gate. Let's go uh, harvest up them their uh, resources. We'll load them all. We'll unload them all over here. Fantastic. Let's zoom out. What do we actually see? 1,200 concrete right there low. We got very low rare metals. That's okay. I and mean, over here we got very low underground metals, but we've got all of those things. So what this means is, let me see if I can't figure out where a dome would go. Okay, I can actually... If I move the rocket out of the way, I can build a dome right in the middle of all of this such that I could actually harvest, I think, every one of those things from a single one. Wow, that's for a tunit, huh? Okay, I kind of like that idea. I like that a lot. We get all these things done, yep. Uh, this thing, however, is not done. I do have it on higher priority. It's because we don't have concrete. And we're not going to get concrete until this guy gets... He's almost done. He's got one more to go there. I gave my or my early drones a little bit of a little bit lot to do. Doesn't this game Isn't this game amazing on like 10 times speed? It's just smooth as butter. Absolutely incredible. Uh, let's come over here and grab. I'm not sure what zone I scan. Must be this one because I see all these resources. Grab that. Keep those coming up here. Yeah, we got 35. I already mined all these. Down here, we're looking at yet another deposit. This one's just low, but I will take it. 
All right. I like this a lot. What I'm lacking, of course, is water. But, you know, we'll deal with that by finding some somehow. Oh, yeah, I can build my drone hub. Thanks for reminding me, game. Uh, since I know where I'm going to build my first thing right here, I suppose just center mass relative to that's where I want to build the first drone hub. Sector scanned. Right near all these depots as well. That'll probably work. Although, I may want it to encapsulate... Ooh, we got more stuff up there. Interesting. I kind of wanted to encapsulate that uh, mining Vehicle platform battery. down there. This seems like a good place for it. And let's go for a powder cables. Well, first, first, let's come up here and make sure we get some power, because this doofus is not getting any. And I don't want him to die by mistake, which I have had happen in some other games. So let's try to make sure we run power through all of the areas where we might... Uh, I'm gonna have to do that and this. I want just if the if the drone thingy here is set up, the transport neither a power, Sector it'll automatically scan. recharge. So let's make sure it does. That. That's what I was trying to say there. Let's go grab some of these metals there. Great. We'll bring these guys back over in this direction, and I'm feeling pretty good about this. All I need to do is get my rocket up and at them, which will be easier to do when we're finished that fueling research in just a minute here. And then let's keep zooming out and looking at the sectors. So we're looking at seven metals down there, surface metals, 17 up here with four polymers, and nothing over here. Ah, what a nice game. 12 out of 13, four polymers. Yeah, we'll get that taken care of. Drone Hub is now up and operational, which is good to see. And basically no one's doing anything at this point. Why do I not have this? Oh, the concrete. Oh, I forgot the electricity on the concrete like a complete idiot. All right, that's why. All right, well, that's taken care of now. Sector scanned. Okay, what do we get? 41 more metals, you say. That's down here. Ah, I can actually see them right. Oh, look at my little drones are just hopping on that. They're going to take care of that for me. Wonderful. So while they're doing that, we can probably find the one other place we can go. Which was down here someplace. Yeah, that, that one right there. As soon as we're done unloading, which we actually already are. We'll grab that. All of it. Drop it off up there. Beautiful. Rocket, we're looking at 25 out of 60 fuel till you're ready to go. And now I got my battery up and at him as well. I kind of like uh, another battery someplace. I want to spread them all out this time, so we'll put one right there. Although, thinking about it now, let's actually cancel that. Because some people have told me if a rocket hits these things, the fuel refineries, they go like super haywire. So why don't we actually stick it um, down research here, complete. a little further away. Ah, there's my research. Very important. Uh, I have no more income now, so we're going to outsource uh, for a little bit more. And this means my rocket should be good to go. Yeah, well, 27 out of 40. It used to be 60, but because of those advanced engines, we only use 40 now. All right. And I think we actually are done. And we're scanning up over here, so I suppose if I could bring my uh, transport out right now, because we're going to find... Scan. Yep, there we go. Let's come over here, found. grab all that, bring it back up here, drop it off. Looks good. Got a couple of anomalies already. Those both seem to be keys, and I think that means we just unlock more technologies, which are pretty useful. As soon as this thing is done, we're launching it. Instantaneous launch. Look how cool this little Martian plot of life. I would actually like to live in this spot. Imagine the skies and Mars. Like, no atmosphere, no lights, just sky. That would be insane. Absolutely insane. Anyway, 39, almost 40, and... And... There he is. Fire! Sector scanned. Boo! Milestone achieved. All right, we found another sector over here, but that actually had no additional resources in it, which is interesting. Launched a rocket from Mars. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. How's my little RV guy doing? Looks like he didn't finish his transport for whatever reason. We'll have him come over here and gather those guys and drop them up over here. Uh, and now, as the rocket's coming back, we have time to think about what we want to do Cold for the... Oh, really? Hold on. Let me think for two seconds. Coldway's going to make it... 
What's the cold wave going to do? It's going to freeze anything without power. We have enough power. Oh, none of my solar panels are within range of the drone. Whoops. Didn't even think to put them in there. So what we might need to do, honestly, is move them down here or just make a whole bunch of new ones, which will be fine. Maybe I'll even do that right here. That was a really dumb move on my part. So let's do this. And let's do more so I may have to actually destroy those. Oh, whoops, I meant to shift click that. So one, two, three, four, five. I want to have enough that I don't have to worry about nothing. And we do have 117 metals, so this should be sufficient. And there we go. That's going to be enough that we don't have to worry about nothing. Let's put a little battery in right here at that corner. Looks good. We got three batteries going now. These guys, unfortunately, we're probably going to have to just tender them down because we can't get up there. Or I'm just, I'm, I don't have the, uh, I'm not going to get another drone hub, I don't think. And I don't have the money or the, the weight with this particular playthrough to invest. I guess when my rocket lands, I can land it back there and have it control those things so long enough to keep them actually functional. So I guess that's something. Let's go see what's going on over here with this guy. He's actually done. We can swing down here and pick up whatever that last resource was. Where even is that last resource? Did I already get it? Yeah, I did. All right. Yeah, there's... there's oh, there we go. Found another one. What do we got? Nothing. Not even a single surface metal. Interesting. Okay. Well, there you have it. I suppose what we should do now is start planning for the future. So we're fine right now, but we're going to want to do a basic dome. We're going to want to do it so that it hits all of these things. Or at least uh, we can build a metal extractor close enough to all of them. Perfect. That'll do exactly what I want. We're going to throw that in right now. I think three batteries is probably sufficient. The power generation is probably sufficient. Six souls on the cold wave. Where do I want to drop my launching pad? That's a good question. Milestone I may achieved. I may Second want to put it over scan. here. Anomaly found. I think that's an okay place to put it. This will be much closer to these things, so when there's something here, we can go uh, deal with it. Whoa! Holy, we found our, found our water, and we didn't just find water. We found 10,000 of it, but it's low quality. We found 2,000 very high quality concrete and 1,500 average quality concrete and an anomaly. Well, that's where we're going to need to pump our water in from. Which is interesting because I'm going to have to get a drone hub then to, to get or that or an RC and have it run out there. I sector might have to get scan. the RC. Select a sector to uh, I can't see any other way to do it, really. Let's come over here. Uh, we'll pick up all of this stuff. Good. Swing it back down here. And then let's go do exactly as they say and select sectors to scan. Oh, there we go. Let's do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All of those ones, all of these ones. Looks good. All right. And then rockets at 75%. We're working on this thing. I suppose the next thing to work on then, maybe I should put some charging stations in. Uh, if they ever do manage to come up here, we'll put like one, two. And right here seems to be like a high, high value place. We'll put one over there. I like putting out these little intersections. It just seems like a cool place. And then possibly also, I don't really think we need one here, but maybe. Let's put one here and one there. They generate, I mean, they take a little bit of power, but not too much. Not something I would really worry about. See if there's any more sectors that I can grab minerals off the surface. Yes, there's actually some over here. So, drone. Pick them up. And drop them off. Now, it's time to think about our biome. What should I do? Maybe I should get the money first? I'm not sure. Cable fault reported. Or should I go for the metals? I think I'm okay with the... Well, we're actually only down to 17. I don't have any metals. I'm going to probably need the rarer metals to get the income to keep going. To buy more components and stuff early on. So why don't we actually Miles put one of those in achieved. like right we now? Have an oxygen shortage. Like we right have a water shortage. here. We have a power shortage. Yeah, this can all go off. None of that really matters. This is just getting getting things set up here. Uh, let's turn power connections in there. It looks good. Another thing I really want to do in this playthrough, I think, is have all my pipes on top of the electric electrical. 
I mostly did that in the last playthrough, but not exactly. And I want to have more redundancy as well. So why don't we pipe this in from here as such. And then this doesn't technically Research connect, complete. but it will connect right there. Beautiful. Research is done. So now we're working on the explorer that we're going to pull in. We have salvage and destroyed buildings. All right. Yeah, we need to work on the explorer for sure. Ex increases research provided by sponsor. Yes, we actually want that one. Probably second. Then we're, because this way we get 100 research from the drone, having the uh, explorer and 100 research from having just nothing, just existing. And then after that, I suppose we'll go towards the moxie upgrade or in the clearing. All right. Oh, speaking of, our rocket's actually already here, and now we have all of our money. So let's do cargo rocket. I did say I wanted the rover, and I did say that I need the explorer. Unfortunately, that's a lot of weight right there. I'm going to need another prefab in a drone hub if I want to get things down there, or I guess I could do just the drone hub, but then I'm going to have to deal with, like, carting around resources. Maybe I should leave that alone, just have the rover. I don't know. One thing I know I need, though, is a ton of these things. Let's see how many of them I can get. Probably going to need at least 20 polymers, mortar machine parts, and mortar electronics. This is actually not too bad. That's a lot of stuff that we're bringing back. You get 20 polymers. This will last us. And the rover will give us the utility we need. I like it, sort of. It's going to be a little bit annoying to micro that rover, but this is probably good. I might want a little bit less machine parts and a little bit more electronics. Oh, no, let's do a little bit less polymers and a little bit less more machine parts. There we go. 15, 35, 25. In my experience, that's about what I need. So we'll launch that back here. And now we're working on this stuff. So we need air. That was one of the things. I kind of want to do like a loop here on all this stuff. So maybe I'll put my air up here. Uh, and maybe I'll start with that. First of all, how big is our area? It's going to have to go just on the outside and straight down to here. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if the redundancy is that important that I do it right now. Maybe I should just do uh, some basic stuff. Like, let's start doing this. Meteor okay. shower incoming. Oh, wonderful. Just what I always wanted. Constructed a dome, cables, building's not working, cold. Is everything actually working? Yes, everything's fine. This building we can actually shut off. We don't need that in the slightest right now. Uh, let's work on motor electricity along these lines. Fantastic. Up here is where I want to put in my air. So let's do that right there. Air right here. That, that didn't rhyme at all. I don't know what I just said. How do I want to place this that it looks cool? Maybe like this... And like that. So we got two right there, and I would like a backup one somewhere over here in a different location. Maybe next to this battery. Perfect. So we got three air tubes now. I'm going to need some water tubes as well, even though we haven't even put, some, put any in yet. So why don't we have another water uh, tank up over in this location near the air? Just one of them. You know, can't hurt. I'm going to put another one actually up over here, and then we're going to get some pipes going on in this general locale. Fantastic. Some of these things need uh, service, but we're waiting for the rocket. We're at 48%. So we got our oxygen. We got sort of not really any water yet, but we're going to work on that. We're going to have to pipe it in with that RC drone, and it's going to be super kind of annoying, to be honest. Uh, and, hey, if I scanned anything in like 100 years, probably. 96. Ooh, I don't remember seeing all this stuff. Is this all? Yeah, this I do remember seeing this now, actually. Six polymers out here. Why don't we go grab that? We'll take that for sure. Yeah, it seems like there are polymers all around, but there's never, of course, electronics and machine parts. That's why I went low on the uh, the polymers at the beginning there uh, for the first rocket. And I went higher on machine parts and electronics because we're going to need those for sure. We're always going to be low. So we got air. We have uh, at least one water tank. I want more water tanks down here. Let's start piping Sector this scanned. in. It's going to have to end up being something that comes in like... Oh, 49 more materials. Beautiful. Something that comes in like this whoops can I not put one in there no I can't all right well 
Didn't realize that. We'll have to just go around. That's fine. Guess we can do it like this. And we'll kind of run this way. Whoa! Hey, friends. There we go. That's quite the run, huh? <laughs> quite the run. Let's get in that water now. Water extractor. Perfect. And we're also going to need, of course, the pipes to run this all the heck the way back. Oh, wow. You can't actually do it over that one. I can put the wires there, but not the pipes. Interesting. That's an insane amount of pipes, I gotta be honest. But it's all connected. Now, we can get in a couple... Oh, wait, is my, my rocket's here? Yes, we should have launched that a long time ago. We'll land that guy down here. Fantastic. Uh, let's look around now. Woo, that's some fast timing. Very nice. Get you guys maybe down... How, how far does this drone go is a question. I need to actually slow down a little bit more because I'm overwhelmed with things. Okay, it comes down to that location. So we'll get you maybe all the heck the way down here. I don't know. Or drones, that area. Now, we need to start exploring stuff, so let's go for that. Did my sense science get done? Yes, it did. Let's outsource a little bit more uh, so we can get done with the explore. I should have actually done that before, and then I just forgot about it. We just need to do that two more times, and we'll be good. And then lastly, I had seen at least one biome someplace, or one zone here. Here we go, 49. Let's go send our transport up here. Grab all this stuff, all of it, great and then swing it back over into that location. So everyone's busy, everyone's doing something. This guy's unloading. We have enough fuel to reload and flaunch him back the second that he's done. I don't know how long I missed there, but hopefully we're okay. I didn't, didn't waste too much time. I do wanna kinda of have these things serviced by this rocket before it leaves. So what I might do is grab a couple of these guys and connect them to this Connect them to this thing so they can actually have a chance to get out there and do that. All right, water tank up there, water tank here. I would not mind one more water tank along the way here. So we got three water tanks, three air tanks, three batteries, tons of power. This is kind of asinine. We're going to need resources over here uh, that are machine parts and concrete. So in order to get this done, we're probably actually, you know what, the easier way to do this is just to send the transport out there. And the transport's already done. So let's load up. Oh, you have to right click. We're going to load up on uh, machine parts. Okay, I wish it would stop. Stop. Uh, oh, well. And concrete. Perfect. Now we'll bring this guy down here. We'll unload so that this stuff can get done. And that's going to be mildly annoying because it's way the heck out there, but it'll work. And then all these things are taken care of. Cold wave we have successfully lived through, which is great. Do I, oh, did I not, did I scan that or did I click to go on the money like a doofus? I think I clicked to go on the money like a doofus. <laughs> I really want that money. I'll just drive my drone onto it and, you know, that's how that works for sure. Hey, speaking of, look how scenic this little shot is down here. Isn't that kind of cool? All these drone or all these panels here with the drones coming in and out of the rocket. I like it. Uh, another thing I probably want to start working Sector on. Scanned. Ooh. Found. More money over there. Interesting. Another anomaly. Fantastic. Looks like this thing's actually already done. And so you guys really need to work on all these things, which are then metals. So maybe we should... Oh, we have zero metals. No way. I just assumed I would have some, but apparently anomaly we don't. Analyzed. Milestone achieved. So let's come up here. We're going to pick up all these metals and we're then going to bring them down here and unload them really quick. Scan that anomaly. New text There's available for research. What do we got? So we don't really care about this. More applicants will start to appear. Uh, what I do want to do, I guess what we did is we unlocked water, water reclamation and we uh, unlocked live from Mars. Neither one of those are good for us in our current scenario. I don't think. Okay, so we'll leave that alone, and we'll just go do some more. Woo! 
tricksy, this one. Now, uh, let's speed up here while things are getting done, and let's start thinking about putting in our uh, situations here. We're gonna have some living quarters. We're gonna have an auto save, apparently. We're gonna have a nursery, because we have to grow on our first uh, colony, or we're doomed. <laughs> so, definitely nursery. Uh, let's put in a space I'm bar this time, analyzed. keep people a little bit more happy. Great wow! There's more to the barren and oh no, the great dust storm in five off. hours. A bit Okay, let's open this research. You know what? Before we do this, I'm worried. Hold on. Pause. I might need to launch my rocket. And thinking about it, I may not have room to put all this stuff. I don't. So what I need to do here, we need to launch this for sure. Let's put another Universal Depot right there. Uh, this one, once again, let's shut off the fuel. Let's take a look here. We've got most of our fuel loaded, but this is super high priority, this rocket. We need to unload it, we need it fueled, and we need to launch it in five hours, or it's stuck here for like a week, which is going to massively slow us down. Uh, hopefully, that'll get taken care of. This guy over here, maybe we can find a new thing for him to explore up over there. Looks good. And I think we've also unlocked some motor technologies here. So we can move faster, harvest more resources... Eh, yeah, neither one of those are useful, so we'll leave those alone. Come on, guys, please take care of this thing. Please, I may even need to move back over right now with my little drone commander to make sure that gets done super fast. Uh, and Death Storm in four hours. Very bad. Very, very, very bad. So I built the space bar. I want to build a grocer this time. I like right in the corner there. you all know, I'm a huge baseball fan. Infirmary. You know how long baseball has been around? The origin of the game is a thrilling topic. Small garden. Look at that. Pretty nice. Some claim that baseball has its roots in Kim Tai. Come on, get, get us some music, friend. Next Mars channel, because apparently we have multiple Mars channels. We're not getting this done. That great dust storm came out of nowhere in five hours. No way we're launching. Maybe, maybe. Dust storm in two hours. We got 30 fuel there, but it does not seem likely to me, to be honest. In fact, we need to move over here so we even have range on the fuel. Dust storm in one hour. We got nine fuel and a bunch of stuff to unload. 32 fuel. Dust storm in zero. Oh, we're not getting it. We're not getting it. There we go. Dust storm for five days can't launch. Oh, we were six fuel short and one machine part short. That's super unfortunate. Let's swing over here. And that's that, I suppose. This guy's scanning up the anomaly. Cable fault reported. Okay, once these metals come in. Oh, artificial muscles. Breakthrough drones carry two resources at once. Well, that's pretty pretty cool. I will say. I want to put that on the list just in case we find some stuff, but otherwise uh, we're done. And then you come over here and scan Keep that anomaly. Low. I know. I saw that as I was moving. It had a low battery, but I think we'll be okay. Especially if we can manage to get all these things constructed. The drones are working on it here. They're getting the pipes and the electricity put in. Well, we're delayed by five turns, unfortunately. Research complete. Okay, let's get this drone Anomaly back here analyzed. to charge up before it's completely out of battery. We have gained 1,250, and we finished Explorer AI, which gives us even more research. That's great. Outsourcing 200, and then we get this next one, maybe, and then we get another 100 uh, on top of all of that. Fantastic. Plus, I only have 630 million left. So, but the next thing is going to be a passenger rocket anyway. One thing I would really love to do here is just slow down for a smidge, grab these little drones, and then let's select everything and reassign it to the rocket. Did I click the right button? Yeah, I think so. I think that, yes, yeah, so now the rocket can take care of all of these uh, maintenance issues. Uh, now, as far as research goes, we're going to have to find some food, and I know there's food within these three things, so we may have to do this water reclamation, thinking about it now. Uh, let's get rid of this other stuff. I need to fill things the moxie. I want to do the muscles, but we really can't afford it. Let's just keep going through this uh, to make sure I remind myself to, to do that. And I'll put that on the back just in case I forget. All right. This seems to have been mostly taken care of. Let's move up slightly over here. Nice. That's all within range now. 
And then my transport, I have no idea if I found more. Battery low. Nope, nope. Boy, we got no medals anywhere. Oh no! Oh, what the? Luckily, that did not hit my rocket. Whew. Whew. Functioning cables. Building's not working. 33. Yeah, that's not surprising. Dust storm is just knocking these things out of commission here for sure. We got no more metals, and they're like nowhere else on the map to really deal with. Honestly, where the heck are the metals? Down here to this 33? Complete. All right, well, uh, let's see if we can't charge up. I don't even have any power to charge up. Come down here. Load those things, unload them up there, and hopefully have enough battery to do it. Insanely low. Ooh, Earth Mars Initiative. Sponsor, uh, sponsor's giving us 100 research now. And we've unlocked scientists and botanists, but we don't have any specialists, so that doesn't really matter. Drone hubs are constructed with an additional two drones. Well, that's nice and all, but I'm not going to be building any more of those anytime soon. So, yeah, I think we just got to go through these things to try to unlock. Um, Vehicle battery low. Food. Boy, this is brutal. It's not lost yet, though. We have some chance. Let's get this drone over here. We got no metals, though, is the thing. Well, there's some over here. There's 29 of them just sitting around. I may need to manually move back before this thing fills up, or I'll never get it unloaded, and then we're out of power, so... Let's uh, unload the resources here, and then hopefully that's sufficient. Yeah, that dust storm, massive amounts of maintenance, and we just don't have any metals. Meteor incoming. Oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah, that's... that's... Thanks, game. <laughs> that's just great. Uh, until we can actually get some power, there's nothing I can do here. You guys really need to take care of this. Come on, drones. Help me out. Prioritize getting the solar panels back on. Cable fault reported. This dust storm is horrible. And my lack of metals everywhere is horrible too. Well, Sector at least scanned. Anomaly found. Uh, let's swing down here and pick up. You know what I actually need to do? I need to come over here, load all those resources, and then drop them over here. No resources scan, but we do Cable have the anomaly. Reported. Looking up over here, we can go scan that anomaly for sure. I think I actually messed that up and set this guy to do the wrong thing. Yeah, I did. Let's actually have him come up over here, pick up those metals once again, and drop them over there, get all this stuff repaired. We got two more days here until we can launch our rocket. That's super unfortunate. We need a million and a half medals, and I don't Pipe have reported. any medals. Any. We got 12 here and 39, and that's it. Turned out to be one of the most well-preserved asteroid impacts in our area. Huh. No geologist could ever put a price on it. Well, this might be the ticket to victory we were looking for. So we gained 3,000 science. Luckily, I do have a lot of things queued up. So they're going to get done. Otherwise, it would have been wasted, as I understand. We also gained 800 million in funding, which is very important since we were super Research low. Complete. Let's go check that out then. Yeah, well, look at that. We almost got our breakthrough done. Uh, and we've picked up soil adaptation, a new building farm. Perfect. That's what we need once we do get our colonists here. Unfortunately, this is getting rough. I suppose we can do the just queue up a bunch of stuff in case we find something else like that. Nice. I had just enough things queued up. Can we launch this guy yet? No, we're still waiting on the dust storm. Let's go research whatever else we can find here for anomalies. I think I've only got one more, that's true. And unless I can find some metals, I think there's still a few more down here. We could run a uh, pick up here and then a drop off over there. Beautiful. Yeah, all of these things, it's just, it's insane. Look how much, look how much, they all need maintenance again from this dust storm. Resources are low. Water Anomaly reclamation analyzed. complete. 
New this techs available for research. Of the red Low G fun guy, guys. Low G fun guy. Well, I don't really need that. Engineers and geologists now do stuff. We don't have either of those. I think we'll just go for drone hubs at, at this point and don't really need that moisture evaporator, to be honest. No to this. Let's do the drone hubs and then we'll switch around the decommission protocol. All right. Well, looks good to me. 200 basic income, 94, 95% done researching the ability for drones to carry two things. I've actually never done a breakthrough before. I know we're low on stuff. I can't do anything about it besides build some scanners, but I can't build any scanners. I don't need metal to even put in like um, power lines to get out there. And this thing's kind of crazy as it is, but hey, it is connected though. So I may be getting some water from that. No, it has malfunctioned and there's no drones out there to fix it. Well, not surprising. Let's go run a drone out there to take care of that then. Plus, I got a couple of drones apparently sitting out here all dopey. There. We'll fix you guys up. Don't worry about Research it. Research complete. Milestone achieved. Yay! Milestone. Artificial muscles. Drones can carry two resources at once. Drone heavy load. Low on resources. Metal. Dust storms over in five hours. Sector's this dust down. storm seriously screwed up that sector it's got nothing no top surface metals what a great dust storm guys knock me out of all the metals that i had and prevent me from launching for five days like by, by, by like by like one hour oh we can finally launch Woo. all right well what do we got in here? Um, good question. We're working on the soil adaptation. That'll be done by the time the colonists are here. We've got the groundwork laid. I can get another rocket back with resources, but I need people more than anything, apparently, to mine these metals. Unfortunately, I don't even have... I should, I should shut this off. In fact, I should probably destroy this building because as much as I want rare metals, I need regular metals. So let's just go back on that. We'll go pick up our things here. We need literally just regular metals. 668, very low. Average, 683. That's what we need. Let's go over here for... Well, it's going to be right near all my, my things. It's going to make it super dirty, too. That's unfortunate. Okay. What the heck am I doing here? Metals extractor. Blocking object. Oh, that the fuel is out there. Blocking object. That's like a depot. I can put it here, but it's right on top of all of these things. I actually want it to be more like up here. Cable but I, I got I to move that fuel, which is fine because I probably needed to move it anyway. So we'll do that. We'll put the fuel up over here on this side. Great. Let's come over here, grab this, and let's actually destroy that. And then let's see if I have any more anomalies I can go deal with. Answer, not even close. So we'll just bring our anomaly scanner back to charge up. Meteor shower incoming. Good. I was wondering when we have a meteor shower incoming. Up until now, this has been way too easy, if you ask me. I'm sitting here, having an easy breezy time. No problems. Zero metals. Sector's Zero. Scanned. Okay, finally. Finally, I found 38 medals. Let's bring them back. Okay, now that this thing's gone, maybe I can put this uh, metals extractor in there. Requires a deposit. There's a deposit right there. Okay, I can build it right here, apparently. That's probably good enough, probably far enough away from everything. That's not going to cover it all with uh, ash and soot. Maybe, I'm not really sure. Either way, that's what we need. We've got to get metals going like the wind. What happened down here now? Honestly, there's no drone to drop off all the concrete. Yeah, I had forgotten about that. All right, let's do one, two, three, four. We got our RC drone over there. We don't really need him anywhere else, and he can take care of all of that. Making sure the water's getting pumped into the system. I'm 
And should I just rip these things up? I mean, they're not doing anything. And I could get a couple of metals out of them. And we can't really repair them unless the rocket's here. Then again, the rocket will be here most of the time, I think, so. And there's the reply or supply we need. Being on Mars makes you think a great Just in time to repair everything. The universe and of course a lot about Mother Earth. In my opinion, Earth as a developmental project has totally gone awry. Just look what happened to the government or the political scene. And look at the individualistic attitude that keeps on growing like a cancer. Resources are project, low. We have a clean blank page to fill. A fantastic opportunity to shape a new cable fault society, reported based on equality and brother and sisterhood. So let's unite and hear the next tune together. Sector scanned, anomaly found. Ooh, yay! Let's go. That's what we've been waiting for. Holy! Let's come down here and pick up all them dinner resources and get them on back up here. Nine polymers, 51 metal, and an anomaly. Thank the heavens. That is definitely what I need. We'll keep scanning up these guys over there. And then this guy, and then all those guys. Fantastic. All right, Rocket's actually back. And you know what that means, friends? Time for some passengers. So, because I can do this, I'm actually going to shut off all flaws. All of them. I don't need to, I can have flawless colonists and we still have 19 uh, matching people here. Let's look up perks. We actually have one out of one saint. Let's make sure we grab him. Uh, I want to have greatly increased birth and I want to have definitely composure. Looks good. Let's go back now. That's 19 out of 12. Let's check off the age groups. Definitely no youths and no seniors. Let's try no middle age. That might cut our saint out though. Never had a saint before. Also, I want to shut off other sex because I don't know if they can reproduce or not. So, perks, saint, zero out of one. Unfortunately, yeah, they are indeed not going to come aboard. Uh, can we do perks, saint? All right, so we're going to have to do age. We're going to have to turn middle-aged on. There we go. So we want to have adults. We have 11 adults. They're going to jump on board. And I think the only middle age that should jump in should then be the saints. Now, I don't know exactly how saints work. Oh, wait, no. Zero to one. Raises more morale. What the heck? I thought he was in there just a second ago. Is he a youth saint? Are you kidding me? He's a youth saint? What? Uh... I was okay. Well, let's shut that off. We'll shut off the old guys. A youth saint. That's okay. We'll get the one youth saint then. Weird. Composed, sexy. I think workaholic's not a bad idea. It doesn't really matter at this point. There's only 14 people. We're basically going to bring them all. And a launch. Yep, we're good to go. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. None. Now, how long till our research? 56%. By the time that rocket gets here, we should be able to have a farm. The question is, will we have water? Well, we got this thing built. We do have four water. Oh, We've got two air. Nice. We got tons of air. Uh, new techs are available for research. All right. What did we unlock? Apparently, we unlocked utility crops. Unlocks new crops in farms and hydroponic farms that provide oxygen and improve soil crop, uh, quality. We may want to do that. Uh, and then, in addition, what the heck? Mouse haters are insane. Our cat haters are insane under the mouse. Let's drop off uh, drone hubs. We'll drop off decommission protocol. We'll drop off the low G turbines. I like the utility crops here. Uh, and then otherwise, I don't know. We'll go for the drone hubs, I suppose. And there we go. All right, looking done. Looking done. Our first colonists are on their way in, friends. They're on their way in. Will we have enough power? I don't know. It really comes down to how much metals we have. I can't believe this is, like, so dicey. Uh, let's think about what they're going to need here. Do they have air? Yes, right here. They have two air tanks, another air tank over here. We could get a little bit of redundancy by building this up, but again, we're super low on metals, so I'm not sure if I want to do that. I kind of do. 
How much is it for the pipes? One for each five. We're going to talk about spending a ton of metals over there. I want to do the redundancy, but it's not as important right now. I like how I got this guy just sitting out here on the power line, taking care of this water. It's actually pretty nice. How are we doing on fuel? We got 123. We can launch fuel for a thousand years. It's just not even a relevant thing to us. Okay, so we'll leave that alone. Oh, what happened over here? No deposits. Oh, okay. I guess that got uh, destroyed. So why don't we rip that up then? And we'll make a new one. We do have only 167 concrete. There. That's actually a really good place. And we can probably do one mortar next to that as well. So uh, looks good. And then we're going to, of course, need going to need a smidgen of power there. Well, it's coming along. 24 metals out here we could Sector go yoink. Scan. Let's do exactly that. Cable fault reported. Grab Pipe all of them. Reported. Okay, I like how they always happen in like groups of 8 million things. <laughs> it's like, hey, did you want all the stuff to happen? What did we actually get? Malfunctioning pipes. We got 13,000 water of low quality and we got another 553 rare metals of average quality. All right, well, it seems like the metals are just spread out all over the place here for us, and that's okay. New techs are available for research. Let's go charge up our explorer since there's nothing going on right now. Let's go take a look at the tech tree. We have unlocked new spire medical center. Has larger capacity and is more effective than infirmary. Well, it's not something I really need. We've also unlocked the drone hub. We can build drone hubs, but we need eight electronics. Oh, we've also apparently unlocked Martian University trains scientists, geologists, botanists, medic, engineers, or security officers. College education is always free on the Mars. Well, that's a lot of electronics, and we're not going to be able to afford that anytime soon. So I may just want to stick to the basics here, like, you know, some more drone hubs, because we could definitely use those guys, especially with our really long lines of uh, sight here. So we'll throw that in and probably get rid of some of these guys. I'll keep what we have right now, though, and we'll drop that in. And this. Okay, looks good. Looks a good. We got 72%. Our first colonists are about to arrive. Will they die instantaneously? Let's find out by grabbing this thing here. Also, another thing is I need that science done before they get here, and I don't think they're gonna... Well, I don't want to spend any more money to get more research. Hold on. Did I not do the one down here for the plus 100? Yes, I did. Increases research by 100 for the sponsor. I thought I did this one as well. 100 per RC Explorer. Okay. Oh, here we go. I see. 100 Explorer, 100 Sponsor, a total 200. So that's fine. Yeah, we'll be done with this in like a day. I'm not going to spend money on it. And then we can send the rock rocket back and go pick up some more uh, materials for us. I don't know what exactly, but we'll figure it out when we get there. And then let's try turning this thing on and seeing what happens. Also high priority on that for sure. So looking at it... We're okay. We got power. We got 95. Power demand 44. We can put that out. We have a decent amount of bu uh, uh, buffer there, so we can recharge all of our things. We are going to have to turn a couple things on. I'm thinking I might need one more battery. I have 27 polymers. That way I have 80 power output when power is offline. And a good Cable place to put that recorded. might be down here, randomly. Someday I should probably move this up one. Although that's going to require moving that up one as well, so I can get another line of uh, power in the back, just for redundancy's sake. But that's all for future stuff. New text available for each Did I already do that, or is that new new? No. That's... Oh, yes, it is. We got this guy right here. Extractor upgrade. Increases production by 25%, but also increases power production. That's something I could definitely use. Uh, let's do that, like, right now, because I need those metals. And here we unlock this. Rocket space increased by 1,500. Okay. Definitely something I could use eventually. We'll throw that in. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Building's not working seven. That's all these guys out here. But when I land this rocket... Ooh, speaking of landing the rocket! What do you mean, blocking? Complete. Cable what? Fault reported. Hold on. How is there blocking objects? It's a... Oh! What the... What the... 
This unit has been destroyed. How did I get three destroyed drones? There's literally three of them here. Just sitting on the... Did they? Did the rocket blast off and kill them? I thought they'd be smart enough not to allow that to happen, but I don't actually think they are, apparently. No, there's something down here. Are you coming to get this? Yes. Okay, and then these guys are coming over here to grab this. Great. And then now? Yes, there we go. Okay. Well, friends, here we go. Soil adaptation. Perfect timing. Because I'm going to need to put that in right now. Let's put it up in this location because that looks pretty cool. And here's our rocket. Bearing oh my lord, look at that. The imagine being on that rocket right now, landing, looking at that. Like hundred a thousand foot tall sand electrical sandstorm of sorts. Come on, guys. Oh, we can see it coming in. Boo. Full of hope and determination. Welcome to the colony. Nice one energy. and only colony ship. There do they come. Oops, bad camera. Bad camera control. Oh, that's blinding light. Okay, you know what this you know what this calls for? This calls for a celebration Earth style. Yes, it's like they're surfing down the, the perimeter here, running to their homes, right by this drone carrying two fuels on its head. That looks safe for sure. Absolutely safe. New colonists have arrived. Huzzah! First human, colonist, founder stage, malfunction, malfunction, millions of buildings not working. You guys don't worry about that. We build you a nice, nice colony. It's all for you. Let's turn this guy on over here to that metal extractor. We've got 34 metals. Not a moment too soon. What's going on as far as water? Water demand 6.9, water production 5. What's happening over here? Uh, water production 4. Is there a science that I can do for extractors? Extractor amplification. We're going to need that. Let's drop the utility crops for now. Drop this. Get the utility crops in. Apparently, we've unlocked dome bioscaping. Residences in basic domes, microdomes, and barrel domes have improved comfort. Oh, that's cool. Never seen that before. All right. Let's put in the rocket cargo space first, though. Then we'll do that. How we doing over here? Uh, this is probably gonna, the farm's gonna need to, wow, six people working in that? I think so. And then this guy over here is gonna definitely need high priority, but that's almost everybody in the entire colony in the first shift. Almost everyone. Maybe I can cut two people out over here. Yeah, we'll have uh, four, five, six, seven, eight between those two. And then we'll think about um, second, second shift stand. only over here for one slot. And the same deal over here. We'll shut that off. Second shift only, one slot. And over here, same deal. Shut this off. Second shift only, one slot. So I think that was 8, 9, 10, 11 total. So we can probably turn on one more farm. Looks good. No resources. Got that taken care of. And there we go. There we go. No issues, except for the fact I got tons of issues. So what's using all this oxygen? Oxygen production 2. Oxygen demand 4 point. Is that because of the f arm? Oxygen, 0 0.7. Oxygen, okay, what about the farm here? It's consuming 1.6 water. Whoa, look at that, that's so cool. I've never seen that before. Wow, you can store 300 food there. Amazing. And I think you do want to rotate crops on this, but I'm not exactly sure. This also produces oxygen, but that's still not enough for us. And apparently we're negative four on... Where is 8.5 water going? Oh, it must be all the leaks in the pipes that I clicked off of. Let's look around to see where those are. I don't have a clue. How's my drone guy doing down here? He's not doing fantastic because it looks like all the drones... Oh, we've malfunctioned and none of the drones can get charged. I see. Well, that's super annoying. Let's get this guy over here to then have him come down and repair this guy up. Yeah, that sandstorm must have knocked right through there is what happened, I guess. Water production 5, total demand 8.5. Too far from working drone commander. And he's going to need some research. Or, uh, not research. He's going to need some repairs, like, almost instantaneously. Where are the heck are the pipes that broke? I don't know. Maybe they'll get fixed. Uh, for now, we're actually okay because I did store a decent amount of water. Hopefully, let's see what happens here. See this little drone run over here? 
can't even click on them, honestly. Let's zoom out really quick and see if there's anything else to grab. Yeah, we got a little bit of metals over here we Cable can grab with this guy. Reported. Let's do exactly that. We'll pick up wherever it is over here. Everything beautiful. Swing back over here, unload it. Check out those cable faults. So they're down here. That's one, that's two, and that's three. This one's getting taken care of. This one's probably going to need more movement once this thing gets repaired. Assuming it even can get repaired, it may not be able to get repaired. You know what? Maybe my RC Explorer can come repair them? Nope, he can't. I'm going to have to use a drone. And the only drone I have... Drone, what are you doing? This is one of the most frustrating things of this game. Like, why can't they just figure it out? Why do I got to micromanage dumb drones? Just, okay, I think that one ran out of battery or something, or it's confused. So we'll send another one. <laughs> Maybe he'll take care of it. Meanwhile, our rocket's ready to go back, but we don't have any resources. But you know what? I'm fine with that. We should probably just send it so we can grab whatever we need and send it back when the time comes. We're negative eight on water now, because I think this thing has completely and utterly shut down. We don't have all the time in the world. Let's make sure we're getting it taken care of. We got our little drone coming in now. 205 water. It's going down pretty quickly. Come on, drone. Now he's sitting here. Come on, drone. Commanded by RC Rover 1. You should be able to repair him. Yes. Should be. Nice. Now we're functional. Now this guy has commands, and now we're going to repair everything, and we're good. Then we can repair this thing right here in two seconds, and then that should be most of our water issue taken care of. The next question, though, is where the heck... Look at this. It's like sirens, alerts, alerts, alerts. Come on, come on, friends. Where are you going? Repair this thing. Why is one of you not doing that already? Amazingly, this one's going to repair the line. Okay, now we're getting it taken care of. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Now we can move this guy down a little bit so he still covers all of these things. But can also cover up here because there was another piece of uh, thing that needs to be dealt with up there. Much better. And that's actually four out of six metals. Interesting. Uh, we're unloading a bunch of stuff over here. Got that and this both getting repaired. Negative power, but we've got the battery to sustain it. Negative water because we have 8.5 demand. Let's check what the demand is coming from. So if we go to buildings and we scroll down, we got one water from the fuel refinery, 1.6. That's 2.6 that I see total. So where on earth are we coming up with 8.5 demand? Ah, is that it or is that even more? It might have something to do with it. You're in range to take care of that. Two point six, and and I think that's it right there. Maybe. I don't know why it's not getting like immediately repaired. Because it is within range. Maybe this guy's going to go do it. I don't know. We need one metal. Ah, that's the problem. So let's come over here. Let's load. This is so di this is so dicey. Let's load some metals. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. Individual micromanagement. That's what this game's all about. Let's unload that metal here, and then I think that's why the pipe is not getting repaired. That's where all of our oxygen and water is going, and we're gonna take care of that and be back in the business. Wow, losing five yeah, electricity really each hour is... Produced food! Huzzah! Sector scanned. 3,000 in B9. 3,000 concrete, but that's it. Boy, this thing's taking a long time Table to... Re oh. oh, yeah, wonderful! The instant that that thing got done... <laughs> electrical storm spawned on top of it. It was like, reported. oh, yeah, deleted. Where the heck is this one now? Bloody hell! How many pipe leaks can you guys even manage to find? It's like every two seconds. And we're still negative on the water, and we're about to run out. This is getting close. Load the resources, metals. Go, go. 
I don't think I have any more over here, or do I? No, I ran. I think I ran out. Yeah. Okay, we only need to, we only need to grab a little bit. Let's swing back up over here. We're going to unload these guys uh, probably right there. Beautiful. Yeah, metals are such an issue. It's ridiculous. And now, hopefully, when this thing gets done... Well, actually, they're doing cable faults, like, everywhere. Oh, here's another pipe leak, apparently. Okay, oxygen, finally. Demand is 1.9, production is 2, and there we go. Water production is 5, and demand is 3.6, like it should have been all this time. So that was the problem. Remind me not to shut down those notifications when it comes to pipe leaks, because, oh, good lord, it's actually pretty difficult to find them. Unless there's something in the UI down here, I don't know, but I haven't used that too much, so I'm not sure. Let's zoom out a little bit and look for scans of materials that might be surface-bound. Yep, we got 20 metals up here. Let's uh, swing up. And where the heck are they? I don't know. I don't even see them. For the first time... <gasps> we got kiddos! Let's, let's pack up everything over here, swing back, drop it off. Let's take a look at our uh, colony. We have 13 colonists, including one little youngin, Andromeda Saros. That makes a lot of sense. Andromeda Saros. Look at this place, huh? 12.8. What's my next crop in the rotation? Should I just do different things? I don't even know. Water, 1.6. Growth time, 2 souls. That's 5 souls. 55 food. Holy hell. Soil quality decrease, 10%. Soil quality in... home on an alien world. That takes guts, to say the least. Oh, founder Elmer Trenton has the enthusiast traits. That's the spirit founder Elton, or whatever your name was. Let's check this out, though. I'm, I hate it when they pop things up when I'm trying to compare stats. Water consumption, too. So it's a little bit more than wheat. The growth time is two and a half times longer. The harvest is, like, a little bit more than two. It does produce the same amount of oxygen, and it increases the soil fertility by 10%. The soil is currently 50%. So why don't we do that, actually? And then potatoes would bring it down. I think that's a good idea. It looks like we're producing enough food. I think. Food production, zero. Food consumed, two. Stored in service buildings, 4.4. And we got 12 more someplace. Yeah, the service building over here is good to go. The one thing I'm lacking is people, because I need a lot more people to work here. One thing I need to build almost immediately, since we've got youngins, is going to be schools. Let's take a look at what that's going to entail. A 25 concrete, 10 electronics, and maintenance of two. We're going to need to order some electronics very soon. Also, we're going to need to order some machine parts, and we're probably going to need a little bit of a polymers. Maybe that makes sense. Let's get rid of that thing there. We'll swing back over here. Our rocket has landed. No rover, no explorer, no transport. We're good on those. Polymers. Tons of electronics. Tons of machine parts. Now we're actually out of money. I think we can build drone hubs pretty soon. And there we go. I think that's actually a pretty good loadout to keep us afloat. Uh, so back it comes. I couldn't quite fill the rocket up there because we're a little bit short on a lot of things. Now, one thing I don't have is research, but at present, I'm more concerned with metals than anything else. Is this a metal thing? Yes, 24. How much are they producing? 5.7 per day. That's actually pretty good. I'm very happy with that. We're going to need to make some drones soon. Building's not working eight. That's still all these guys here, but when I land my thing, if I assign things to it, we can deal with it. I do need to build more drone hubs. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I think I need to research the drone hub technology first, which is this one, drone hubs, yes. Uh, do I even want to do dome bioscaping? Uh, I do, but it's not super necessary like right now. Let's work on the drone hub because that's going to be super annoying microing these things. Rocket cutter go space, we really don't need that because we don't even have money. Utility crops is nice, but being able to amplify our extractors is probably more nice. However, we're going to it consumes a ton of power to do it, so we're going to... We're just going to have to put some power things in, I suppose. Then utility crops, drone hubs. Maybe then I'll do some bioscaping or something. And that's adequate, I suppose. Keep that all full. It looks to me, it looks to me like I got nothing left to do here for anomalies. We're scanning very slowly, that's for sure. We'll scan up a little bit more just in case there's stuff over there or there or there or here. And otherwise... It's all about getting some colonists trained up here. 
That's what it's all about. And also keeping them happy. Let's take a look at the colonists very quickly. They're looking pretty good. We got very low comfort over here on Courtney Warren. Party animal gains additional social comfort when satisfying social. Well, we have the diner, so she should be able to do that, sort of. Although, she does work. Where is, she, where is Courtney? Oh, she's in the Sector's medical lab? Bad. And she's working the second shift, which means she can never get a chance to come in here and have fun. Let's turn this on, then. Turn that off. Or on, rather. And that's going to make sure we got at least one person there at all times. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, I think. That's, that's one more than we have. So let's shut off one person here. It seems like we're doing good. We got 23 food. These farms are crazy. It's going to be a long time, however. It's going to take something growth time five souls. But then we're going to have 50 food. We may be overboard on this. Woo! I like it, though. How's the youngins doing? We still only have the one. I'm going to have to research a little bit more about comfort um, and what I can do to keep people happy and whatnot. But this seems like... Ooh! There's my medals. Thank the heavenly hash browns for that one, guys. Let's come over here to uh, do a, a pickup. We'll pick up all this stuff. Oh, we need those 60 medals desperately. We actually have 60 right now. Boy, that was a close one. I thought I was going to have to lose this campaign, to be honest, when we ran out of medals there. But we seem to have scraped through. We're getting a little bit of a stockpile here. I'm going to keep everybody working on it for now. i got to make sure their morale is okay, though. Plus 36, plus 38. It's actually really good. I guess they're all religious. Do I have a saint in the colony? I actually forgot about that. I had a youth who was a saint, right? Does it say that? Yes! Look, Courtney Warren, she is the saint, but her comfort's really low. Reported. What does a saint do? Raises the morale of all religious people in the dome. Benefits stack with each additional saint. Well, that's fantastic! What a good luck. Yes, we're full-on religious friends. That flaming llama, he is the one who shall lead us to victory now and forever. Amen. Anywho, as we're returning, I desperately struggle to not screw up what I think is actually finally a good start to this scenario. However, we're low on oxygen, we're low on water, we're low on electricity, we're low on comfort, and people are going insane, and I got no, like, real medals other than a couple things here, and we need to do a million more things, and I'm building a school, and uh, I don't have literally any income whatsoever, and we've got to get some income going. Uh, to get to buy more replenishments because I can't get any more polymers, electronics, or machine parts without doing another uh, extractor. So, Whew, things to do. Things to do. Plus, I need to research and build some drones to take care of all of this stuff, deal with the micromanagement, which I'll probably screw up and forget at one point and do something horrifically wrong. But, yeah. Where's that malfunctioning pipe? Of course it's over here, but... <gasps> this guy's taking care of it. Yes! Look at this! Automatic. Thank the heavens. As long as I pay attention to these issues, I think we'll be alright. How's our discharge? Power demand 44. I think I've got four batteries. I can't actually remember now. It says 490. But yeah, there we go. Fixed up. We got oxygen, we got water, we got farms. We got people growing kinds of weird things like soybeans and wheat and alternating crops and... Oh, we got our school! Look, they just go right into it! Trait nerd! Select a trait that is affected. I don't know what that means! I'm gonna have to look a trait survivor, trait com uh, compose. Yes! Yes! I love everything about this right now. When's we returning? More continues and things will happen and hopefully I don't die a horrific, horrific death in the first like two minutes. But until then... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Uh, let's see if I have any more anomalies I can go deal with. Answer, not even close. So we'll just bring our anomaly scanner back to charge up. Good. I was wondering when we have a meteor shower incoming. Up until now, this has been way too easy, if you ask me. It's sitting here having an easy breezy time. No problems.